welcome to Eugene's Speech Language Therapy's weekly videos. I am Sierra and it is almost Halloween, so that's why I'm wearing this witch hat. This week I wanted to talk about velopharyngeal insufficiency, or in other words, a weakened soft palate. So when I talk about the velum, I'm referring to the soft palate. When you open up your mouth, you can see that little dangly thing. That's a part of your soft palate. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is give you three exercises to strengthen up your soft palate. So people who are affected by a weaker or insufficient soft palate can be people who have had a stroke or a brain injury, people who have a neurological disorder of some kind, and people who have had an anatomical difference like cleft palate, and some people just have to relearn how to use their soft palate if they are misarticulating for some reason. First off, I want to tell you what it can sound like and how it can affect your speech when you have an insufficient soft palate. So your voice is going to sound nasal. The air is going to be coming up through your nasal cavity, it can maybe kind of sound like that. That means that your speech is going to be less efficient because air is going to be escaping when you don't want it to escape. So it can, um, you can run out of air quicker, your articulations may not be as crisp, and you might even have some issues with food and drink coming up through your nose. So here are the three exercises I have for you to strengthen up your soft palate if you're having these issues. Here's a picture of the soft palate when it's closed. So as you can see, the soft palate raises to hit that back wall, the posterior pharyngeal wall, to close off the nasal cavity so that the air coming up from your lungs only goes out through your mouth or your oral cavity. And that sounds like this. Uh, when you say the sounds M, N, or N, G in ng, your velum opens and allows that sound to come up through the nose. So what you're essentially doing with these exercises is holding the velum close and giving it some resistance and testing its integrity. So the first exercise to, to do this is all you do is puff your cheeks out with a nice tight labial seal and then you're going to push on your cheeks with your fingers. Okay, so you need to keep your lips nice and tight and hold that air in your mouth. Okay, exercise number two, you're going to need a straw. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to blow through the straw with big cheeks. Like that. And then you can add a little pinch to it so that the air stops and holds the air in your mouth. And um, you want to make sure that no air leaks out anywhere. The last exercise is a great one. It has four steps. The first step is to hum and then you're going to stop humming. Then you're gonna puff your cheeks out and then you're gonna let your cheeks go with a nice plosive. So it looks like this. So what that does is when you hum, it opens up the nasal cavity. When then we stop and then like that. I hope that helps you to strengthen up your velum if you're having some hypernasal resonance in your speech. This is just one little aspect of what speech therapy does. Please check back and subscribe to this channel because I put out a video every week talking about speech therapy topics and have a wonderful day and a safe Halloween.